Hello and welcome to another episode of Killer Ant Reviews. Today we are reviewing Dragonlance Heroes Volume 1 and Volume 2. Uh, the Legend of Huma, I think is how you pronounce it. Written by Richard A. Knack. And Stormblade by Nancy Varian Berberick. Hopefully I pronounced that well too. Uh, so this is at so this is actually like kind of like the second print of it. So the cover, the original cover was more like this kind of style. This is just an updated version of of it. Uh, so looking at the cover, uh, this one's I love this cover. This is basically what you would see from like a late '80s, early '90s fantasy fantasy novel, especially from the Dragonlance. Love it. This one. Uh, well, it definitely has a good effect around here. It's not as strong as this, but it's still pretty cool. It shows the struggle of a dwarf. Uh, so let's get into it. Legend of Huma. I, I really hope I am pronouncing this correctly, or Huma, or whatever. Um, it's basic. It's basically the tale of Huma or Huma. Like I said, don't know how to pronounce this. Sometimes I'm, I'm not good at pronouncing it. And through his journeys from a from a knight to someone who basically saves the world. And he does ride dragons at the end. Uh, it's basically what you can what you can expect from like a standard fantasy novel. But it's very entertaining, has some really good characters, like he meets a uh, he meets a minotaur early on who ends up being like one of his one of his uh, more reliable pe people. He meets a few other paladins. And what I really love is that it always has this, uh, there's always like something hunting him, or the or dan or danger coming at him, and it all, and it all wraps up nicely in a final in a final like blockbuster battle. This is something that you could probably expect Michael Bay or Roland Emmerich or any of the other big directors to basically like throw 150 million dollars at. And you can definitely expect expect a good blockbuster movie. And it's definitely like a standard size, uh, three hundred and something pages. Definitely entertaining. I actually did love this love this book. Uh, my only complaints is uh, the the ending's a little bit confusing because it kind of just it just kind of ends, which is a little sad because it doesn't. Uh, I felt like they could have gone in and just show the final face of some of the characters. Stormblade, however, after the all the high stakes of the first novel, Stormblade kind of lowers the stakes a bit. It's a little hard to see because the glare of the light. I'm hoping to get like a new light at some point, or get to a new room at some point. And it's just not as well written. Definitely, still has a danger element though. The main character is basically a dwarf blacksmith who him and his master made like probably made a very valuable sword, but it gets stolen, and he sets off to recover it. It's basically him, a warrior, and a mage all go in to to basically find a sword. Unfortunately, they're ambushed early on. This is basically within like the first like twenty or thirty pages. Uh, the warrior is immediately killed, and him and the mage get separated. He meets a bunch of other people, and they try to find a sword. Unfortunately, this isn't as well written, and the characters are not as as good. And it feels feels like there's a lot of filler in it, um, which is unfortunate because this looked like it could have been like the first one, but it's kind of hard to. It is pretty hard to basically uh, outdo the first one when you have like epic battles with with dragons with lances on it, hence dragon lance. But but yeah, and the and the dialogue's a little bit weird compared to the first one too. I just couldn't get in, into it, which is a shame because I do like the dragon lance series, especially the short story is always great. Uh, so what would I give this? Legend of Huma, I definitely would recommend that is a solid 8 out of 10 for a book. Entertaining all the way through. Stormblade, unfortunately I can't give any higher than a 5. It's a great premise, I just 
it, when I when I struggle to get into a book, that's usually a problem, which is sad. Um, I'm hoping to I'm hoping to go and get like the other ones because these are the only two books I had. Uh, with with Stormblade, I actually got it from like a pack of ten from Dragonlance's, which ends up just being a smorgasbord of ran random books. Some are like part two or part three of series, so. This one I managed to get from it. This one I got from another sparse board early on, and I'm kind of glad I got it. It was entertaining. Um, I might go. I might go and buy the third one at some point. I do have a lot of books to read. Um, I d when I was on vacation, I actually ended up buying about another ten books. So maybe more. So we'll see if I can ever get to it. So until next time, this is Killer Ant.